السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ویلکم بیک ٹو مائی چینل فرینڈ دس از آور تھرڈ ویڈیو ان تھری تھاؤزنڈ وی اے انورٹر سرکٹ اٹ از سولر انورٹر اٹ ٹیکس ڈی سی وولٹیج اینڈ پرووائڈز اس اے سی ٹو ٹوینٹی وولٹ اف یو وانٹ ٹو واچ پارٹ ون آف دس سیشن دیٹ از ویڈیو نمبر فور ہنڈریڈ تھرٹی نائن اینڈ اف یو وانٹ ٹو چیک پارٹ ٹو آف دس ویڈیو to continue to this video first you have to check these videos i will give the link in the description you can check from there here we have positive input terminal that is here we have negative input terminal that is here we apply 12 volt dc battery then we have a protection there is a fuse inside that is here then we have two reverse polarity protector diodes that are connected here positive negative in this condition in this combination these diodes are reverse biased but if by mistake we change the polarity of the cables negative here positive here so in that case negative will apply to this cathode positive to anode so these diodes will forward bias and it will provide the easiest path so that the overcurrent can cause to open these fuse and our next circuit will protect it because the dc polarity is dangerous for any dc circuit due to any failure of any semiconductor any component any drive component if the circuit becomes short circuit how we can trace where is the fault if the polarity is correct in ideal configuration the positive is applied to center tape winding of the transformer one end is connected to one pair of the mosfets switch transistor igbt what is soever i am just showing the symbol of transistor it is just only as switch any type of switch transistor here in the second end of the primary winding transistor here so both transistors are open in this condition so ideally there should no continuity why the positive terminal is reaching here and the second end is connected to switch second end is connected to switch these switches are open so negative cannot be applied to the winding in this condition the circuit must be open now we will check set multimeter to continuity or diode mod connect to input terminals it is zero ohm reverse the polarity it is giving the same resistance so that means we have short circuit what are the possible causes of the short circuits maybe the diode is short or maybe the mosfet transistor igbt any switching component that is here it is not for this circuit for any mosfet based transistor based igbt based switching network for an S any smps any circuit this is the ideal condition in off condition it must be open if it is giving a short circuit positive if this transistor is short this mosfet igbt is short in that case the multimeter is connected here it will give continuity from here or here any component from any path it have short circuit it will give continuity by visual inspection if we see we have a smoke sign here a burning sign here that means these mosfets have damage so we have to remove these mosfets we can see so we have to remove these switching devices we can see so first we will remove the damaged one and then we will check what is the result now as we detected we have a damaged component here so i removed it after removing we have to check the continuity it is the same then we have to remove the second damaged component that is here we can cut it we can desolder it 
but for easy demonstration I remove these components and we will check still we have short circuit now I will remove I also remove the third MOSFET and still we have the short circuit these three have a visual damage physically damaged so I removed it instead of desoldering because these are not usable now we have to remove the other remaining one by one and we have to check apply solder flux we can also check the protection diode but this time it seems that there is no problem because the MOSFETs in the power stage that are damaged now we have to clean these MOSFET points now we can see the resistance is increasing now so that means this capacit these capacitors are charging now before this there was a short circuit discharge it because the capacitor is charged now Now it is giving 0 0.1, 0 0.514. So that means our these diodes are good now. These are giving forward bias because black lead is connected to the multimeter positive terminal. Black lead to the positive terminal, capacitors charged, and the diode is now in forward condition. So it is giving 0 0.1, 0 0.51 volt. And if we reverse the polarity. First it will discharge and then the diodes are reverse biased and the capacitors will charge up to their limit. Now we will check the MOSFETs which one MOSFET is damaged. Now we verified then there is no short circuit. Now we can check which one MOSFET is good which one is bad. These three are physically damaged no need to check it. Now we can check in continuity mode, in diode mode. This one is short circuit. So this MOSFET is short circuit with gate, source and drain separate. This one is 0.168, gate to drain open but source to drain it has damaged source to drain channel it is in the both side it is 0.16 ohm or 0.16 volt so it is short circuit then we have this MOSFET 0.227 0.228 in both directions it has same resistance so it is bad it is open source to drain in one side it is giving the forward resistance of protection diode the channel is good the gate is good so this MOSFET is good then we have this MOSFET this MOSFET is also good So two MOSFETs are good, six MOSFETs are damaged. Now as we remove the MOSFETs and we know some MOSFETs have short circuit with the gate. Gate to source, gate to drain or short circuit. In that case the voltage at DC rail that will backflow 
to the driver stage these eight mosfets have two channels four are working in one set two and two two and two so one transistor here one transistor here as it is push pull topology so it is using two transistors two drives so this drive will this driver transistor will drive four mosfets and it will drive the other four so we have to verify before installing mosfets these transistors check the transistor so it's good we can see this transistor is short circuit we will replace this transistor we will replace these six mosfets and then we will power on and we will continue i hope so this video is informative if it is informative hit the like button if you have any question please let me know in the comment box thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh